Hi Robin with OxyDry and this is the follow-up video to the video I should have posted just before this video where I cleaned this carpet and this is, of course is the post vacuuming so um, um, come along with me as I post vacuum and groom this carpet the uh, it's actually it's only very slightly damp which is perfect for post vacuuming and uh, so come along with me as I do this, and, and we'll see how this carpet looks with the grooming. It looks fine, as usual. I've been cleaning this carpet for 13 years, and uh, it is very worn, but um, they have dug, she has a dog on here, a, a Sheltie, and the first time I cleaned it 13 years ago, um, it was in very bad condition, really badly blotchy and black traffic lanes and everything, so... I did bring it back, and ever since then, it's uh, she's been a regular customer, and uh, she won't call anybody else. <laughs> and the carpet dries so fast, cleans much better, and stays clean. And uh, I clean it about once a year. So let's uh, go to go to work here. I just forgot <laughs> this vacuum has two speed settings and I, when I post vacuum with it, I put it on the lower setting. It's a lot quieter too, you probably noticed. But the carpet is looking really good. Okay, I'll shut it off for a sec. Because it actually doesn't quite lift off the carpet when I put it in the upright position like that. It's easy to move because it's on a, a round base. And I don't have to worry about underneath it because it's almost dry. Okay, so we'll go over to the farthest point and I'll work my way backwards like a steam cleaner. <laughs> Oops, hey, I'm not going to make it. Oh, wraps. Okay. No problem. This is the outlet I used earlier. Odd place for an outlet, eh? Okay. Looking good. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know I just recently picked up a uh, SIBO. Um, and, uh, and here I am using the workhorse again. Um, I think this, the workhorse, or the, pardon me, the, not the workhorse, the, um, Hush tone is it is easier to ma maneuver and pull, push and pull on the carpet, uh, especially the plusher carpets. Um, and uh, that's a big thing when you're doing a working with a vacuum all day long. Um, I think actually this vacuum does have more power. I'm not positive about that, but I think it does. And, uh, 
I think that the um, the thing that with the Seabo it has that automatic uh, raising and lowering thing, and I'm wondering if it on certain carpets really isn't quite setting right for the for the thicker ones anyway. But I will continue to play around with it, and uh, but I do find that the the um, hush tone moves easier and uh, so if you're going to choose between the hush tone and the SIBO um, the uh, hush tone uh, is a, a very good option I don't think it's a worse vacuum and I think in some ways it may be better it's maybe debatable but um, I have no, um, I, I, I really like the way the hush tone works, the way it maneuvers on the carpet. And that's really important. If you're going to use something for hours at a time, you want it to be easy to, to move. Well, it came out easy. <laughs> Interesting. Seems to be just a little, a little smudge of something there. Okay. I've got my spotter towel and my spotter right there. In case you're wondering where I'm holding it. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, I guess what I'm saying is the um, hush tone is a very good vacuum, and um, they're cheaper than the uh, SIBO, so I'm liking it fine. I definitely recommend it. Um, it does have a lot of power. Even on the low setting, it seems to be as much as uh, most vacuums. On the high setting, it's, it really moves a lot of air. And I think they're saying it has a... Uh, I think on the website, I believe it's... Uh, man. On the Hoover website, I think they say it's 150 CFM. I may have that wrong, but I know it's higher than most. Although I'm not sure that it's... That does seem suspiciously high, <laughs> at least a suspiciously high claim, but anyway, it definitely has a lot of power. It def you can feel it, you can hear it. This thing is moving a lot of air. And it's very easy to clean out underneath. Uh, you go back last year, and when I got this vacuum, I did a pretty good overview of it, and showed how easy it was to get into the bottom, which is very important for cleaning out the brush roll, because they do get clogged up from time to time, especially if you post vacuum, because there's a little bit of moisture that gets in there. It, nothing that, that, it doesn't get wet, or at least it shouldn't be, if you're doing it right, but anyway. But you can see this carpet is looking really good, and it always does. So, um, whoop. Move this plug around the corner here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's it's looking good. That we got wear right here. That's all that is. Right over there. That's a, a worn in front of the couch. But the carpet, it always turns out really good, this carpet. It's really quite something to see.
it uh, really fluffs up and it feels really soft when I'm done with it. Okay. I guess I'm done with that area. And that's all I was going to record. I won't record the bedrooms. But anyway, there we go. That's how, that's how I do it. Another really happy customer. So I'll let you go. Have a good day.